Thank you, Governor. Good afternoon. I also want to recognize Holy Week. This is an important time for many faith communities uh, throughout Rhode Island and throughout the world. And faith is one of the types of foundations that we need to lean on to ground ourselves during unprecedented times such as this. So with that, I will get started with going through the numbers with our cases. We have 288 new cases today, which is reflective of the expanded testing that we have um, been uh, successfully accomplishing. This brings our total to 2,015 cases. As the governor also shared, we sadly have six additional fatalities to report. We now have 49 COVID-19 associated fatalities total. One of the people who passed away was in their 60s. Four of these people were in their 90s and one of these people was in their hundreds. Five of the six fatalities were associated with nursing home residents. I've reported out about a number of very unfortunate fatalities over the last few weeks that are associated with nursing homes. Nursing homes throughout Rhode Island are working very hard to prevent cases in their facilities, as well as to prevent the spread of illness in their facilities and to keep their residents and their staff members safe. At the state level, we are working directly with nursing homes to get them the support they need. And we're working with Rhode Island Response to support the nursing homes with the staffing that's needed. People in nursing homes are some of our most physically and medically fragile Rhode Islanders. Nursing home staff and administrators in Rhode Island are enormously dedicated to the residents in their communities. The challenges facing them and the challenges facing us as a state are that this virus is very transmissible and it is very serious for older adults and people with underlying medical conditions. The best way that you as an individual can help keep older adults and all your fellow Rhode Islanders safe is by following the directives we are talking about every day. Stay home if you're sick. Do social distancing. Wear a cloth face covering when in public. And call your health care provider or go to CVS.com if you have symptoms so that you can get tested. When people are out crowding in places, when people are not staying home if they are ill or staying home the way they're supposed to, those people are being enormously selfish. They're putting their lives of other people at risk. We need everyone to follow the guidance that the governor and I are giving. This guidance can save lives. I want to address one last issue. If you Google PPE litter, in a matter of seconds, you'll see links to hundreds of articles and TV stories about this problem, littering of personal protective equipment. But just because it's happening everywhere does not mean it should happen here in Rhode Island. The governor, Director Janet Coit of the Department of Environmental Management, and I are asking Rhode Islanders to take an extra minute or two and throw away your used PPE, such as masks and gloves. Throw it in the trash where it belongs. Don't just throw it into a parking lot or onto the street where it becomes ugly, unsanitary litter and someone else's problem to clean up. Another issue is wipes and disposing of wipes. 
please do not flush wipes down the toilet, no matter what the container says is okay for it to happen. The clogs caused by wipes damage critical wastewater treatment infrastructure for our state, and we do not need that to happen. They can cause a further health hazard by backing up sewage and sometimes sending that into buildings. We've been asking for several weeks now to people so that you can do your part. This is just one way that you can contribute to making Rhode Island the place that we want it to be. Self, safe for all and clean as well.